that this you just have to choose the way that you want to promote it so let's talk about that okay mm -hmm. okay cool all right lovely people who else denounce you oh we're talking about what we did during the week are you there darling oh oh maybe not okay Okay, go. my mic wasn't on. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Happy Friday to y'all. Um, I'm still beating people up with the bot. I'm still uh, marketing on Etsy for the book. I was looking today at the Walmart website for sellers to see about uh, trying to sell the book on Walmart. So uh, I'm still trying to figure that out. And then um, along with some updates for the website. Now, what I did see is that the website has been getting a lot of hits. I've had like 600 hits within the past month, but nobody bought a book. So I've got to figure out uh, the correlation between that for they stop by, they want to see what it's about, but they don't buy anything. So I'm not really sure why that is. Mm, I, can, I can tell you, you know, book buying, you guys, is a thing particularly for our people, and their purchasing of books comes in two main ways. One, it has to be full of sex, usually, and then you're going to buy it. Or you're at an event that attracts people who just want to buy books. Now, from your website, if they're clicking and going and they're not buying books, you almost have to find, a, for lack of a better word in this moment, a gimmick. Only meaning, you know, something comes with the book. Buy the book and this happens. Or, you know, the, the book is like the center of all of the activity or the incentives that with the book. Buy the book, get a free pair of earrings. Buy the book, get, um, you know, just make, make it up. You got to think of the, usually some type of incentives or... Um, buy the book, get mentioned, or the, get a free tour to Medivare, whatever you end up saying. And it makes them see buying the book in a different way because they're like, oh, I buy a book and I got this too. Or, you know. Um, so you may want to think about um, some of that because usually, again, people, I've said this before, particularly our people, we buy books based on the cause that the book represents. And so I'll give you an example. So my book, Beating Black Kids, when I first came out with that book, it was a lot of people who had a lot of things to say about it. Oh, it's too small. It's not the regular trade size. Oh, that title is too graphic. Well, but they had a lot of things to say. But because I used to have book discussions and I would get that cause out, I would give my book away for free on the bus or the train when I saw mothers getting ready to yell at their kids and and just give away books for free and then I had a big deficit because I spent for books people actually started to like my stories on the bus and train and they used to say here's a hundred dollars however many books that covers that'll cover the books that you give out for free and so people started to associate book with a cause you know me approaching families and I would take pictures with the families on the bus on the train and so it became a different, it wasn't just a book, it was like a crusade, you know. And then the next thing you know, I'm getting asked to speak places. And then they're like, we need you to bring up, we need you to come speak and bring a hundred books. Or it was a lot of things, you know. And so, but the cause, whatever the cause, if the cause or the focus of your book is love, you got to get out there, baby, and be talking about relationships and you know, your poetry is already good as I don't know what, but just, you know, talking about relationships, giving your opinion, showing the book, and then it being something that people want to experience over and over because it helps up. They want to hear, they want to feel what you said or feel what you made them feel when you performed on YouTube or whatever. But the book is the byproduct. So that's just my little two cents on it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, love. I remember those 